Michelle and I am a black mom who whines. Um, I came up with this idea of black mom who whines because I am a single mom who is trying to rediscover herself. And by rediscover, I just mean just trying to find myself as a mom. You know, I just trying to rediscover the things I like to do outside of being a mom. I enjoy being a mom. Being a mom is the best thing I could ever be. <laughs> I know it sounds so fake, but I love my little boy. But outside of my little boy, but outside of being a mom, who am I? Who is Michelle? What does Michelle like to do? Before I was a mom, I enjoyed going to wine festivals, food festivals. I enjoyed doing those types of things. But when my son was born, you know, those types of things had to stop because I was focused on my son. So my son right now, he's with his father. So I am trying, I'm having some me time. So that's when I thought of what Michelle wants to do. I can have some fun. My son just turned one last month. So I'm at that point where I'm just like, okay, I feel a little bit more comfortable. I don't have to keep checking in on him. I don't have to worry. I can actually feel like I can let loose a little bit. I can finally, I finally feel like I can have some fun. I can rediscover who I actually am. So thus, I have created Black Mom Who well, not created, but I thought of Black Mom Who Wines. So Black Mom Who Wines is going to be, this is my first video, but Black Mom Who Wines is going to be me just picking out random wines. Some wines I've already tried. Some wines are just me randomly picking and trying to find a snack or a meal. I'm not sure. Um, that I think would pair well with them. Um, I do have some experiences with wine tasting. As I previously said, I enjoyed going to wine festivals in the past. But as we all know, we're in this COVID-19 era or pandemic, not era, this pandemic. So we can't really have things like that. And I am from Virginia. And in Virginia, we have wine festivals year round. We have plenty of wineries. So... That's what I enjoyed doing before I became a mom. So right now, Black Mom Who Wines is going to be me picking out wines and trying to pair them with things that I think I would like. These are catered to my personal palate. Um, so I'm not a sommelier. Sommelier diploma. It's the highest achievement you can make uh, in the world of wine. Over 40 years, there's only been like 170 in the world. This is something that I am enjoying for myself. I hope that you guys enjoy my videos. I hope that you guys like and subscribe. Follow my Instagram. Um, like I said, this is my first video, so this is trial and error. Um, there's going to be plenty of mistakes in this video, but I hope you guys bear with me and watch and enjoy. So, my first wine that I have picked out to review for you guys is going to be Hive and Honey. Hive and Honey is a Riesling wine. Riesling. Riesling. Let me say this right because I know I'm probably going to have some wine connoisseurs and sommeliers that are watching this. And they are going to critique the crap out of me. But I am an amateur. I am doing this for fun. So, for those of you that um, are connoisseurs and, you know, super critiques, this is for fun. This is for me. This is for something that I am just, something for me. So anyway, so this is Hive and Honey. Um, I've never had Hive and Honey before. Um, I went to Kroger because I just wanted to find something that I was familiar with, but I couldn't find what I actually wanted. I was looking for that Stella Rosa blueberry wine that a lot of people liked a couple months ago and they were ranting and raving about it, but it was sold out and I could not find it. So... Um, when I can't find what I am looking for, I kind of just find a bottle that I think is very pretty or find something that I can relate to. And for this particular bottle, what got my, what caught my attention was the honeysuckles. Um, growing up in the South, yes, Virginia is considered part of the South. Um, we used to eat honeysuckles when I was younger. So honeysuckles grow on bushes. I, I think they grow on bushes. Yeah, they grow on bushes and we would pick them off of the bushes and take the bottom part and you would suck the nectar out of them and they were pretty sweet. 
Um, so that's what caught my attention. That is the relation to the bottle that I have with this hive and honey. So I figured it would probably, my guess to it is that it will have a, you know, a, like a sweet start and maybe a, a dry finish, like a semi-dry finish. Um, Rieslings are typically not super sweet. So we shall see if my prediction is right. Um, I'm going to read to you what the site says about it. Um, that's another thing that I'm going to try to do when I review my wine so that you guys can also have some sort of information on the wine. So according to Hive and Honey Wines, it says that their Riesling is fragrant and delightful. At first sip, this mouth-watering Riesling charms with aromas of citrus blossom, nectarine, and Meyer lemon. That sounds good. Um, enticing flavors of pear, pineapple, and passion fruit play across the palate. Light bodied with crisp acidity is balanced by perfect amount of sweetness and a refreshing fruit finish. Hmm, so it might not be too dry. Fragrant and delightful, hive and honey Riesling enhances any occasion. So we shall see. I still think that it might have a dry, like a semi dry finish, even though it's saying that it has um, all those fruitiness, like that fruitiness in it. Um, but we shall see whenever I try it. So um, along with my, uh, oh, this wine, it was on sale for $7.99 at Kroger. Um, the original price of it was $12.98 or $12.99. Um, so it was for, it was a good deal in my eyes. Um, like I said, what caught my eye was the honeysuckles. So along with this hive and honey, I thought to myself, I need to get us a snack. So I didn't, I don't want anything too heavy. I'm still trying to lose my baby weight. So I already shouldn't be drinking the alcohol, but I'm treating myself because my baby is gone. So I went and I got me some olives. I chose these garlic stuffed olives because the packaging on the Murray's garlic stuffed olives. I chose these specific specific olives because it said that they are bold, zesty, and fruity. So when you're picking your wine, uh, or when you're picking your when you're trying to pair your snack or your food with your wine, you want something that's going to complement it. Um, so I chose these because it said that they're zesty and fruity. So this wine, I felt like it would probably have hints of fruit, which according to the description on the website, um, it said that it does, or it clearly has hints of fruit or it is, or it, you know, has the fruity notes in it. So I think that these olives will definitely pair well, e well with it, even though some people are probably turning their nose up saying garlic and olives with that fruity wine. So we shall see how it plays on my palate. Now for somebody else, they might be like, eh, it doesn't taste good on my palate, but it's your personal preference. Again, this is for me. So whoever's watching this and is like, mm, that girl don't know what she's talking about, this is for me, okay? So this package, particular package of olives cost $4.99 at Kroger. I don't, I mean, I'm pretty sure you can find it cheaper or more expensive depending on your location. Um, the package of olive, olives um, says that it's awesome with Gouda and cheddar. So I went ahead and I purchased some, again, Marais brand um, extra aged Gouda. I personally love Gouda. Gouda is a strong cheese. I mean, I could be describing it wrong, but it's kind of funky to me. It's not funky like some other cheeses, but again, I'm not a, I'm not a foodie. I mean, I, I don't consider myself a foodie. I like food, but, um, Gouda's good to me. It's a, it's a strong cheese. Um, like you can, I can smell it through the, through the plastic. So, but a Gouda's a good cheese. It's a funky cheese. It's a strong cheese. So I chose it because that's what the olives suggested. And also white wines are typically good with cheeses. So we shall see. And I also got some, um, just some Kroger, some Kroger brand, um, light thin crackers just to kind of cleanse my palate before I try each thing with the wine. So we shall see. I'm going to get ready to give it a taste. I'm going to turn on a little bit of uh, of music to kind of 
If you guys don't hear me crunching too much, this isn't a mukbang. Is that what they call it? When people are eating and they you hear them? I don't know. I don't like that stuff. But we shall, we shall see. Um, we'll see. Hopefully my video is going good so far. Um, but I'm going to give you guys my honest opinion of what I think of all of these products. Um, I'm going to also... Um, put the link for the hive and honey in my description or the comments or however we do that i haven't gotten that far so we shall see let me turn some music on and i'll give this wine a try hopefully i enjoy it i hope that you guys are enjoying me so far and we shall see let's see let me get this music going here we go y'all like that music there we go hopefully it's not too loud all right let's give this wine a taste Let's leave that there so y'all can see the hive and honey. Y'all see how pretty that bottle is? Alright. Let's see. And I got me a nice little polka dot glass. Oh, how I already poured me a glass. I got two bottles. So. My little polka dot glass. To match my polka dots. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, let me smell it. It does smell very fruity. Hmm. very good it's definitely not a semi dry like I thought it was going to be I can definitely taste the pear um, I assumed it was going to have honey, like a honeysuckle flavor just because the honeysuckles are on the bottle. So, and that's the reason I bought it. So I was definitely wrong. Um, I don't taste pineapple. That's what the website says. The website said enticing flavors of pear, pineapple, and passion fruit. Um, I can taste the passion fruit, but I don't taste pineapple. Um, let's go ahead and have an olive and see how the olive tastes. Is that olive is good. That's good. That's good by itself. Let's have another one. Y'all. Yeah. Go get y'all some of these. Oops. I'm leaking the juice out. I don't want to smell like olives later. I got somewhere to go. Alright, let's see. I don't know if you're supposed to chew it and eat it and like sip it and swallow it at the same time. I told y'all I'm not a sommelier. A sommelier, so... I just do this for fun because I enjoy it. I enjoy wine. I enjoy eating. I enjoy snacking. So this is just, this is for me. Mm. Those are definitely good together. I can see myself sitting outside while my baby is gone, just chilling on the porch. It's been really hot here in Virginia, so I think I'd have to sit in on my, at my kitchen table and look outside the door. But I could definitely see myself having a plate of olives and sitting back and drinking my wine. Now let's clean the palate, and then we're gonna have we're gonna try the cheese and see if it'll be good with the cheese. Mm. These are good. I've never had these before either. They just taste like a dry cracker. No. But they're okay. They taste better than like a Ritz. They're not as rich as a Ritz. They just taste like a like a plain cracker. To be honest, I just bought these because they were cheaper than a Ritz. <laughs> but in the box was kind of free. <laughs> but. They're not bad. 
Cause let me watch it down. Okay. Now let's try the extra aged Gouda. I know I just made that face, but that's good. That's really good. I don't know if I'm supposed to like let it marinate on my tongue and then drink the wine. I'm gonna have to do some research. I told y'all this is my first video, but this is really, really good. Overall, I think everything complements each other. I think the crackers and the cheese and the olives all complement the wine. Um, again, everything was delicious. I think I could see, like I said, I can see myself sitting outside on a cool spring or summer night with this wine. Definitely chilled. I like my wines chilled. So definitely, or over ice. Um, I know some people don't like ice because it, when it melts, it waters things down. But I definitely like my wine chilled. So this is definitely a great wine to serve chilled with a cheese plate. Um, I mean, even if you just want this wine just as a, a relaxer or calming thing at the end of your day, I think this wine would be the perfect wine for that. Um, it's not super sweet. It's definitely not dry. Um, I hate dry ones, but I will give them a try. Um, thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe. Please share. Please like. I am definitely open to your comments. Criticism, both good and bad. Please let me know what you guys think. Please follow my Instagram at blackgirlwhowines. Um, thanks again for watching. Again, please subscribe and like again. Thank you guys so much. I look forward to you guys watching the next video. Goodbye. Make sure you go buy you some Hive and Hyundai.